Welcome to Delicious and Nutritious, where we use the best quality ingredients to cook the tastiest food. And today, I hope you guys have been liking the channel. We are going to get after something unique, fun, and out of the ordinary. We are going to make sweet potato brownies. Yes, I said it. The brownies are basically made entirely of sweet potatoes, which obviously do have a little bit of additions in them. So this is gonna be a really fun and unique recipe for a lot of you guys that maybe have not really taken cooking to a different type of level. So without further ado, some of you guys may be like, uh, is it really gonna to taste too good? I promise you, after this recipe, it's gonna change the way that you think about food forever because there's no way, even if you don't like sweet potatoes and you're like, uh, like they don't do anything bad to me, I just don't really care for them, trust me, this recipe is going to be for you. So before you start this recipe, I suggest that you guys bake a sweet potato. This sweet potato is already ready. It is baked, it is ready to go. Number two, we're gonna need one cup of that baked. So beforehand, you start the recipe. Obviously, that's gonna take a while. It's not as easy without that. We are gonna need a regular, it says yams, okay? So two cups of grated yams. I have a Hannah sweet potato, which is gonna be a white one, and then a regular yam slash sweet potato right here. We're gonna need 2.5 tablespoons of coconut flour. We obviously have a pinch of salt, and then a third to a half cup of local organic honey. Then we have two whole eggs. Prefer that the eggs be organic and pasture raised, not pasteurized pasture raised eggs. And then we have our trusty coconut oil. We are gonna need a half cup of that. And then one of the things that's gonna bring it all together, we have organic cacao powder. And then we have a teaspoon and a half of baking soda. And then finally, we have a bag of dark chocolate baking chips. And finally, we have vanilla. This is gonna be my non-alcoholic vanilla. So everything you have right here ready to go. As far as our utensils, we need a dish. We need our cups and our measuring spoons, and then we need a grater as well as our bowls. And then our oven is gonna be wanted to put on right now for 360 degrees for approximately 30 minutes. So with all that said, let's start off. Number one step is gonna be combining all of the wet ingredients into one place. That's why I say two bowls, because you do all the wet ones, then you wanna combine the dry ones and make sure you mix them up. Sometimes that's a little bit of a problem. So wet ingredients are starting right now, including both sweet potatoes. So first and foremost, we need to grate. But we're gonna need two cups. Okay, so we have it when it comes to these sweet potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in there and then I'm gonna clean them up real quick and I'll be right back. So the hard work is done and now we are getting into the sweet potato that is already baked for us. And you may not want to even tell people that they're sweet potatoes as long as you know nobody has an allergy for sweet potatoes. You could put them out as a dish with something else and just be like, hey, anybody have an allergy to sweet potatoes? And our next step is gonna be one half cup of coconut oil. It's already melted for us. It's been a little humid out here, so it's been kind of just staying at a melted temperature. And then next, we want our two whole eggs going in here. And then we are going to start mixing this. Okay, and the next two things, we are going to use honey. I guess you could also use maple syrup. So this is gonna call for a third to a half cup. So this one is going to be the white honey, organic, 100%. This is like goo. Regular honey can be modified and heated to kind of make it more liquidy at room temperature. And you guys may have seen me do this in a specific order. There is a specific order to this because I put the coconut oil into the half cup before I use the honey. And last but not least, we have two teaspoons of vanilla extract for the liquid. So now we are gonna go into the dry ingredients and then we're gonna combine them together. All right, that is what it's gonna look like. I know what you're thinking. You're like, dude, this is not gonna come out good. Trust me on this one. It's gonna blow your mind, just wait. And number one, we're going in with the coconut flour. So 2.5 tablespoons guys, tablespoons. And then we're gonna add in our pinch of sea salt. Our half cup is dirty over there, I have not cleaned it yet. So we are gonna go in here with two quarter cups to make the entire half cup of raw cacao. You can see it right there. Okay, and now we are gonna do a teaspoon of baking soda. Please make sure to get the natural version of baking soda. It should be strictly sodium bicarbonate a little bit of arrowroot powder. So I'm gonna go for approximately a third teaspoon of arrowroot powder. And now it's time to stir this all together. And now it's time to combine. So since we have already stirred up the wet ingredients, 
We are safe to add in the dry ingredients and then we're gonna stir it. And the last thing we're gonna put in after we stir it all together is going to be the chocolate chips. Let's stir this together. Once again, be careful. The cacao is very on the rim of the bowl as well. So if you guys were to be vegan, what you could do is potentially use flax eggs. I haven't really tested that too much, but you could substitute eggs for flax eggs. Now, now look at this from what it once was a second ago. Look at that now. Much more brownie batter-esque as opposed to the other way around. I suggest you guys get all of this. It's super tasty. Here we have it, guys. The brownie mix is going to be going right into the oven 30 minutes. I would suggest having a toothpick. You wanna to operate it just as any other brownie cupcake mix. You wanna be able to push in there, pull it up without pulling out any of the things. You want it to be completely done and ready to go. And then the edges will start to crisp up a little bit. So into the oven, and then we'll be right back. And here we have our grand finale final product. So you guys did notice I did not include the baking chips, chocolate chips, cacao chips into this recipe, but it's personal preference. I think it adds an amazing touch and it's really, really simple to do. Obviously is all you do. You can do a half bag, full bag. I typically do about a half bag to start off with and I see how many chips are gonna be in there. And then if I want more then I go ahead and do it, I think it adds a great touch, but whatever you wanna do, it's totally up to you. It's gonna be your recipe. Okay, so here you have it, freshly baked. That's the wonder of using parchment paper here. So is all you have to do, obviously now, is cut it and try it. There you go, look at that right there. Nice deep chocolate, brownie, bon appetit. <laughs> it's really good. I'm not used to not having the chips in there. The chips definitely add like a new layer of brownie in there, but this is extremely tasty. So then is all you need to do. Cut it up, serve it, chunks, squares, rectangles, whatever that is for you, it's gonna work. But most importantly, it's gonna be super delicious and it's nutritious. Thank you for taking some time out of your day to cook another delicious and nutritious treat this time. And I appreciate you guys. And these are gonna be dark chocolate brownies. If you want them to be a little bit lighter, what you can do is sub out a little bit of the cacao powder, keep it in the same ratio with a little bit of coconut sugar so you can kind of push it a little bit more towards the lighter and a little bit more towards the sweeter because that's really the difference between dark chocolate and light chocolate. It's the amount of cacao or cocoa, depending on if they use cacao or modified cocoa, and pushing it more towards the sweetness. So thank you guys for cooking with me today. Appreciate you guys being a part of Delicious and Nutritious where we are gonna cook more food so that we can keep changing the world one bite at a time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Yeah.